Hi, everybody. This is Ev again, and we're going to continue with our series on the angel numbers. Today, we're going to talk about the angel number 555. 555 is a really cool number. I've had it a lot in the past, but, um, you know, it's just another way, again, for the angels or the invisible world to let you know that there is change coming. And um, so put on your seatbelts because it's going to change. Things are going to change. But you know what? If you put your intentions out there that you wanted something better or you wanted something that you don't have right now, okay, um, the 555 means that it's coming because change is coming. And sometimes we have to change our environment, change our way of thinking. But that change will get us to where we want to be. So it's not good. It's not bad. It's just a way of getting there. It's like when you go to work or where you're going from point A to point B in the car, you get in the car, you start her up and you start driving. It's not good. It's not bad. You have traffic. It could be frustrating or it could be smooth sailing. It could be sunny or it could be rainy, but you're going, you're getting there, okay? So I'd love to encourage you to never think about things that don't feel comfortable at that moment as good or bad. It is what it is. You're there because you need to be there and we're all where we're supposed to be. And let me tell you something. When you start pushing back and you want to control and you don't want to let go of certain things that are holding you back from reaching your goals, for, which are life lessons, then guess what? You'll be stopped. And at first it'll be subtle and then it'll be stronger and stronger until you might twist your ankle, not be able to walk, or you could get in a full-blown car accident that will stop you um, in your tracks. You might even be in the hospital, okay? Um, so people that have had, uh, what's his name, that Harkin uh, man who was a quadriplegic in a chair, and he devised, genius, and he devised this chair so he could speak through devices and communicate with us. But one of, he felt his number one purpose was to think and to create these genius ideas for all of us and, you know, about the universe. But if, he said, if he was able to move around, uh, he would not have be, been able to expand his mind and to teach us the whole world, to teach all these concepts. And he was an atheist for most of his adult life. But when he got close to his deathbed, he changed his mind, which was interesting to me because one way or the other, it's not my, uh, it, it's not my bag to sit there and say, well, you should, or you shouldn't, you could. However, um, he was a genius. I had a lot of respect for him. And then right in the final hour, he changes his whole philosophy on believing in a God. And um, it's a big switch, you know, but see, you just never know. We're all human and we're all able to change our minds because we have that free will. And so this 555 is showing you that change is coming. But remember, you initiated that change because there's something that you wanted. And by that that you wanted, there needs to be a change. And then you will get what you wanted. I hope you've been enjoying these videos. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. You know, hop on to the link below. Uh, check out our website. We have our blogs we have, which are free. And also, you know, I teach astrology, I do courses, I do uh, 
public engagements, you know, to teach. Uh, I just feel like it's time to get the word out there about astrology, about the invisible world. Um, we're not meant to suffer, you know, and uh, you know, anybody that could use a woo-woo life coach, I uh, have them get in touch with me. Um, these services are life-changing, even if it's just a psychic reading, because basically it is a bit of a life coach session. It's there to help you. So I thank you again for your patience and your time. Time is valuable. Uh, keep those comments coming to me and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.